Hi viewers, today I am going to show you how to update the data table. In previous classes I show you how to insert the data table and how to show the data in the grid view. Today I am going to show how to update. I just to give you uh, some simple sample application, um, simple method uh, to how to update the data table. So here what I am going to do is, I am going to use uh, some fields uh, text box to update the data. So what I have to do here, initially uh, I just create one table. with some name okay here uh, i need some three fields to update here so i just manually uh, giving this things like uh, id and i am adding some text box here txt one runnet equal to server or I give some values that you can easily identify so what I going to do is just copy over the text box ID name phone number I'm giving like um, PH so I'm planning to update this of uh, four fields three fields mm, here finally I'm add on button name as summit or update And I am giving the text to update. So if I run this application using the debug without debugging mode, you will get some good uh, UI here. Application is building. So you are get some text box ID name. I plan to update this name, phone number. Uh, so what I am going to do is in C Sharp, uh, if you want to know how to insert the data and uh, how to create the columns data table, you just go through our pre previous videos. Here, yeah, what I am going to do is I just add this value into session data so that I can easily retrieve this value because we are not using any database to store this value then I just make this method as only if uh, post back happens Not easy of post back. Okay, now what I am going to do is I am going to create some event, a button event. I am going to handle with the button event this update things. So I am just double click to get the events in code behind. 
I just say, well, here what I am going to do is, we already have the session data. So, um, what I am going to do is, before going with uh, these things, I just uh, want to pass directly the table. Um, instead of that, um, I just make the session value as a data table so that um, we get you no know, confused regarding what we are doing. Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. Now the thing. Mm -hmm. I going to get the instance of the session new data table. DT equal to data table session just copy this uh, values okay now we have the data table mm, the session data mm, now what i am going to do is i want to update the row so i just uh, make some things like on data row and select this Mm, this is called rows equal to dt. I'm going to select a particular row. Select. Mm, I want to edit the column. What we created already is ID. So with the ID, I make as a common. Uh, I just go on to update the ID parameters so that I. So I'm just to select ID with uh, the text box what I'm entering here. Okay, now I have the row with the selected values. So I'm just looping this table by using for each. Here I'm getting uh, because we are um, need data row because our table already fetch in the data row so i'm just get the instance of that row in uh, rows the data table i'm getting now now i'm going to loop that now what i am going to do is uh, i am going to do the row name equal to text box name dot text and row mm, column name form equal to txt ph form dot Text. I'm passing the name column to this one. Sorry. And the phone number uh, value is what I'm entering to row. And, and I'm asking the data table to accept the changes. Okay. And then row dot set modified. And just set the modified data to the row. So that um, whatever the values I set will be added in the row. So now everything we got. Now what I have to do? Um, now what the thing is like? Again, I have to call this function over here after loops continues. Uh, whatever the data table updated again i am adding to the session and i am again i am binding to the grid view so we'll see the result how it looks okay now what i'm going to do id is one instead of new path i am want to change to new path education and the phone number to be 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन आई वॉन्ट टू अपडेट नाउ या नाउ यू गॉट द अपडेटेड रिजल्ट सो दिस इज अ वे टू अपडेट द डेटा टेबल यूजिंग आई एम हियर आई एम यूजिंग द सेशन टू सेव द टेम्पररी डेटा इन डेटा बेस कनेक्टिविटी हाउ टू असेज विथ एडियो रोड नेट आई विल शो यू इन फ्यूचर वीडियोज Thanks for watching the videos. If I have any doubt, please comment us. We will get back to you soon. Thanks for watching the video.